Welcome to Inside Design with Kandrak and Cole, hosted by two nationally published Atlanta interior designers, Joanne Kandrak and Kelly Cole. These energetic women are also world travelers, charity givers, and bloggers with a wealth of information to share and stories to tell about the interior design world. Okay, now just a warning, this is going to be fun and not too serious. After all, they still do have an interior design business running at full speed. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. This is Inside Design with Kandrak and Cole, and today is episode 60, and we are talking about how we built our team. So this episode is going to be good for any, especially new interior designers that are out there, maybe established interior designers that just kind of need a refresh, or anybody just kind of really interested in the behind the scenes of our business. But we thought we'd talk about it because it takes a village, as they say, and we couldn't agree more. So in last week's episode on partnerships, we talked about the importance of agreeing on what outsourcing expenses to incur as a company that that both partners, you know, would agree were important, such as bookkeeping or tax prep, the cost of social media, etc. And so today we're going to talk about all the other people we rely on and why to make our business really successful. And before we do that, I'll I'll tell you a little story that I think really kind of sets the tone for what we're going to talk about today. And when Joanne and I had first met, we worked together at a design showroom. And I was kind of working the fabric um, fabric design counter. Well, the owner at the time let me kind of schlep my wares on the side. And so I was new. But one thing that I was really good at was designing window treatments because I'd met a wonderful seamstress at Decorating Mart, the showroom that we worked at, and color consultations. So... I was doing that all the time, kind of on the side. And I remember, like it was yesterday, being in the family room of this really nice couple. And I had gone to do a color consultation. And I may have been there to measure windows as well. And they turned to me and they were like, you know, you're just, you're so easy to work with. And we were wondering, you know, could we work with you on, we need all new furniture in our living room and dining room. And could we work with you on that? And in my heart, I, I was panicked. I And I kind of, you know, did my salesman thing. And I was like, oh, of course, you can come into the showroom anytime we can go look at furniture or whatever. But meanwhile, honestly, I really had no idea how to meet that need for them. Because I just didn't have the experience, and I didn't have the team. And the team is what we need to be successful. Speaking of the team, everything I, we I'm, have. I'm here. <laughs> I'm still here. Yeah. So I just wanted to tell that story before we, we dig in. So as designers, of course, we can't do everything, and we do really rely on these people. Um, first off, art and window treatment installer, we have been working with the same guy, uh, since we started our business, yeah. um, we we worked together at that design showroom at Decorating March, is where we met him, and he um, has been an integral part of our business, and it's been an incredible partnership. And one of the a few of the expectations that we live by, and this is for really all of our peeps: one, be courteous to our clients; two, be professionally dressed. No holes in the shirts, no belly hanging out, no smelling of smoke, <laughs> no dirty shoes. And on and on. Yeah. Come prepared. Every tool, ladder, grommet, drill bit, saw, touch-up paint, glue, paintbrush, uh, super glue, which has saved us many times. Yeah. A steamer and a setter should be on their truck. Oh, yeah. So, uh, also, be on time. We don't have to say much more about that, mm-hmm. but we're we're on a schedule and we need to be courteous to the client and be on time and be flexible. And this is the one thing that I would say that's so amazing about Chris. Our installs can get really hairy and hectic. You just never know. A lot of times there's a lot of people coming and going. Furniture comes in and maybe it's damaged at the last second. It can be stressful and you've just got to be able to go with the flow with no attitude and Chris has this, I'm going to make it happen kind of attitude. Yeah. I mean, the guy can, he just fix, he just makes things work. He makes work. things work. It, it's, it's really like, weird. oh my God, Chris, the harp on this lamp is like demolished. Don't worry, don't worry. Let me look at it. Let me look at it. And well, it's just, he just yeah. makes everything calm. One of the things that I just thought about right now is remember we were at Rachel's and she had a couple of doors in her house that, and I'm sure everybody has one of these where it just, 
automatically like shuts like you don't you yeah, don't want it open. to shut and so he just took it upon himself i mean he didn't this was not part of his job but it was kind of he's like let me fix this whatever and then she later was like did you guys mess with that door oh my god it's so great that now it doesn't automatically shut so he does he goes above and beyond yes and and it's takes i'm just so relaxed with when he's with us you know and it's he's just a huge part of our team it, we couldn't yeah. do it without him yeah and then window treatments and soft goods fabricator uh window treatments are you know one of those quality um custom things that make some designers very nervous because mm -hmm. mistakes can be very expensive um but you need to have a quality professional fabricator for window treatments pillows headboards upholstery and it's a huge part of our business and so for many years kelly took all the measurements which is you know a, a, a huge responsibility she wrote up all the work orders and she ordered the custom hardware herself so we still do some of that but we've also you know started outsourcing a lot of this because mistakes are big and expensive in our business so we don't want the stress a ton goes into custom window treatments yeah i don't think you i don't think people really realize it or maybe they do because it is so overwhelming and if you've tried to put ready-made panels or any kind of window treatment up you see that the quality just usually is not there but she goes to the client's house to measure she writes up all the work orders. She orders all the specified hardware and delivers the window treatments to the job site to insist the installer and make sure the quality is perfect. So she's a real turnkey fabricator. She costs a little bit more, but it's it's worth it for us and our stress level. And then if there are really tricky walls and ceilings, which there are all the time, or molding or corners, she can do custom templated uh, yeah. Like a custom template for the hardware. Sometimes the mounting board has to be cut really funky. It's an engineering thing, it, it really. Is, I mean, it is. It's it's not just being able to fabricate something and, you know, you're an, a great seamstress. There's a lot more to it than that. There's a lot of engineering. Mm hmm um, so the quality of the lining and the pillow inserts, we over time have really perfected it because those things to me make such a difference. Oh, such a difference. I mean, it, it's sometimes you don't know what you don't know, but once you get a good pillow form... All the others just just don't stack up. I mean, it's it's it's. What is the combination that we use? Is it a? It's down, Sh but it's not the flat. No, it's a down um, uh, mix. I, I I don't know. She we've gone back and forth with all different kinds, and we're finally at at a at a point where we found a product that chops really well, but is very full and doesn't get flattened to nothing when you lay on it. But also there's a down alternative version of it so that yeah. because we do have a lot of clients allergic to down. So yeah. and then I think the quality of the lining, all of our panels are lined and interlined. And that might not mean something much to the layman, but it just means that it's double lined for and it helps tremendously how it hangs. Yeah. And then um we're a Hunter Douglas dealer, and so we do a lot of motorization, you know, you know, for those really high windows or things that are really unreachable, um, room darkening treatments and media centers, and then unlined shears and sunrooms is really pretty. But all these things, we need to be able to discuss these with the client and talk about, you know, how they're going to function. F different rooms have different light and different privacy issues. So being able to have Hunter Douglas is so great in, mm -hmm. their, in their customer service and support that they always help us with things that are tricky. And I think one thing that I, I think of when I think of Chris, our installer, and I think of Tracy and Sue, our, our seamstresses and workrooms, we need to be able to make our design concept or a particular wish that a client might have come to life. And so it's all about the workroom's abilities because we can dream up whatever we can dream up, but if they can't make it happen, and if Chris and his team can't get up on ladders or scaffolding that are you know, 20 feet tall, then it's not going to happen. So you get what you pay for. And these are the kind of team members that we need on our team at this level of our design to make things happen for yeah. our clients. Yeah. And then this is one of the things I think that most people are not really familiar with unless you're a designer because we have to have a receiver. Um, many, most manufacturers mm -hmm. will not ship to a 
to a client's home. So we order about 85% of our products directly from the manufacturers. And we really um, don't want things shipping to the residents because, you know, quality assurance purposes. So this means that most most of our product has to be delivered to a loading dock. They inspect it for damages and they store it safely in a, um, until we install. And then once we install, this same company delivers all the product at one time, hopefully, to the to the install. So they're really, uh, again, another huge part of what we do. And finding good ones has been something that we've really worked hard on. We've had jobs in Chicago and Charleston and Atlanta. And so every new city that we go to, we're on the hunt for that new receiving company. And generally, when we get to a city, there's a couple that we can choose from, but they, our expectations vary or how they work. Some are, some have incredible software that keeps the inventory in the warehouse. Others don't have a back end admin team to work with our team. Some of them are extremely expensive. Extremely. Yeah. And, you know, this is something that we, you know, we don't really want to pass on to the client, but when it is so expensive to do that, I remember in Hilton Head, we did a, a vacation rental there and the receiver there was so expensive. So we ended up using someone that we had used in Charleston and actually they were cheaper even though they had to drive that hour to mm-hmm. that um, to that particular beach house. Yeah. So, and we want, you know, there's some, we have some receivers or movers that aren't really good at installing. So if we're away from, you know, here in Atlanta, we have Chris, but say we're in Chicago and we still have, maybe some tables need to be put together. Maybe um, there's always beds that have to be put together. You know, how good at your guys when they come to move everything in at putting things together at $150 an hour or whatever that they may charge are they if they're going to take two hours to put together a bed it's it won't be that great yeah and then again with all of the contractors that we work with there's a level of standard that we expect from them that we expect from ourselves and everybody everybody else so we had a guy the other day and we were doing this big install and his pants were falling off him the entire day and i can tell you all about his boxers and and what they look like and so i had to say to the owner um we need belts yeah we guys have about have to have belts we cannot have butts hanging out and in our clients home so thank you and the next day he came and he looked really good with that belt on so it's it's a lot of that but those guys they have a hard job and they that company that we choose is really important yeah. well the cost for receiving inspection storage delivery those are a big um that's that's a big number in our business. So we have to manage that very carefully. We had a commercial client recently say, "You know, we've got a we've got a big shed um, in the back of our property. Could we just have everything delivered there? You know, a freight truck can get back there." And we thought, um, and we said, "Well, there is it is it man 24 hours? Is there somebody there that knows how to inspect a delivery? Because if there is a box that comes and it has a crushed corner, that box has to be opened. Pictures have to be taken. Damage has to be documented. We need to call the manufacturer. Oh, because damages huge- never happen in our business. It's, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if any designer is listening, raise your hand <laughs> if you've had some damages. Everybody's probably going, Rolling oh, in their eyes. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's a huge deal. But and the, thing, the good thing is, though, as designers, our clients don't generally even know about yeah, it. Yeah, they never because know. Because we're behind the scenes making sure it's all fixed. This is one of the other beautiful things about having a designer. You don't have to deal with any of this crap. And, and a lot of stuff does does come in damaged and we oh, have to have, so it, disappointing. have it fixed and taken care of before we install. So. And it doesn't always, it's not always a manufacturer issue. A lot of times it's in shipping. Oh, yeah. And yeah, yeah. so we really rely on those guys to keep us moving quickly. The other thing that we have going back to when our clients have a vision or our team really wants to make something happen, we have over the years curated quite a team of furniture makers because if you can't find it in the marketplace what are you going to (laughs) do and if your client has big dreams like our guy right now that we're working with with the party party barn he's just got a wild imagination and he's got super great ideas so you know we got to make it happen so 
We've worked a lot over the years to curate relationships with artisans and furniture makers that are incredible. Yeah, and these are these are the these are the things that make our designs kind of stand out. It's not something that you'll see your neighbor have. It's not something you've seen on Pinterest or House because it's custom. Um, one of the um, one of the guys that we've met recently doing a very large project uh, for a commercial client is um, a guy named Thad and his company's Modera, and he builds. I mean, we are doing, how long is that oh reception my gosh, area? The reception I think there's a reception desk, 17, like, yeah, 17 or 17 18 feet, feet long. wide, I think. And he's totally going to make it happen. He knows right where, you know, we've had to, you know, list where we want the holes for the grommets. Um, he can put lights in it. He can, I mean, he can do just about anything. He's making it from scratch. And yeah. that was a cool project because, so what it is, is it's this big leasing center for a luxury apartment community. And they wanted a reception desk, kind of like you would see at a hotel when you, when you come in and it has room, not only for the, for the main person, but for one or two other people to be working working there, whether they be leasing consultants or what have you. And so we thought, we were like, how, where do we even, where do we even get this kind of thing? What do we even do? It had to be very specific in its size and its de- design. And he really let us, he did wonderful sketches for us. And then we picked, it's actually in laminate. Mm-hmm. And we picked beautiful laminate that looks like stone and wood. And he's going to, he, not only is he designing it from scratch and building it, but he'll be installing it. And yeah, that's not something we can go find in the market. Yeah, not cheap, so, yeah. but yeah. wonderful to have him mm-hmm. as a source. And I called him the other day because we had a island and another apartment community that was really short and the seat height of these of the stools that will be around the island is only 23 inches high and normally a counter stool is 26 inches high so I'm like I I cannot find these anywhere so I called him and I said can you help me and he was said absolutely he said send me a picture of what you want he said he works best with wood and metal not so much upholstery so that was you know one thing that was limiting but then we have another guy that Mm -hmm. that does it like the um the guys that you found to do that the jersey guy yeah yeah th- i thought this was really interesting so in this particular leasing center there's a i mean it's huge and there's an area where people have to wait and we're doing one of those round what do you call those it's like a round banquette yes. kind of yeah. with the uh, with kind of the, the um, cone sort the of cone top. in the middle but so people not, sit all around yeah, it yeah but it's not really queer but th- but these guys <laughs> These, no, it's not. Yeah, it's very cool. It, it's very cool. These guys, uh, I, th- I believe they're second generation. Their father started, um, he did upholstery for the auto industry. And so um, they started doing that. And, you know, as you get the younger generation coming in, they're like, you know, we can do a lot more than this. Mm-hmm. And so they started doing custom upholstery for a lot of, you know, designers and commercial things. And they still family run their photos of what they have done is incredible so everything is completely completely custom they were so easy to work with so you know i just feel really fortunate that we have the ability to get these kind of people to do this stuff for us yeah because that was a tricky one we were like what are we going to do with this front area that's kind of floating between the conference room and the management offices and it was it was shallow and they said we kind of looked at their gallery of what they'd done before and tweaked it. And But basically, they said, "We, you think it, we build it. Mm-hmm. And we sent that. We picked out this crazy cool fabric. And, of course, any fabric was fine for them. And Yeah. Yeah. So, in addition to that, we have another guy who, and this is another thing, is how you find these people. So... How did we meet Mitch? We, we met were... Mitch because we did the next cool thing. Oh, that's right. It was an event that a woman in, had started in Atlanta. This is going back maybe eight years or so. And so when, when anytime you do any kind of event that's design related, you're going to meet people like that. Yep. And so he was working on somebody's display. It, 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 there were all these different vignettes by different designers. And I don't remember what he, he was. Did. Um, no, he did that crazy one in the front because he's really a stage movie set designer yeah. by trade. And he did that crazy one up front for. Um, yeah, I yeah. know. I know. So anyway, so we got so we got hooked up with him. And the very first, I don't know if it was one of the first, but I was at dinner at the River Club in Kiowa, and they had these mirrors that I was obsessed with, and I took a picture. And I said, for 
and I was thinking about for my hallway of my new house and I took it to him and said okay I love this mirror but I want this tweaked and this tweaked and this tweaked and this was a very complicated I mean it was obviously handmade it was obviously custom designed and he recreated that sucker almost exactly just with my few tweaks and it is one of my prized possessions yeah kind of like your bed yeah i um i had been looking for a bed i knew i wanted a really high headboard i didn't want it to be upholstered so what's out there in wood headboards are either kind of very dated or i just couldn't find the look that i wanted um so i created this or i found something and added and changed some things on it and he made it, and it's exactly what I wanted. Oh, I, I love it. And it's black. Love it. It's black. Yeah, I love it. How about the sofa table we did? Mm-hmm. 110 inches long, and then had it lacquered blue. Mm-hmm. I yep. found a picture, that an inspiration picture. Again, tweaked it. Said, this is exactly what I want. I said, I'm like, I don't even know how he's going to do this. But the guy has yeah. machinery yeah. to, the tools, to yeah, make I fret work. Just, and yeah. uh, I mean, the most beautiful would work like it's you know 200 years old i think one of the coolest things that he did for us is we had done a show house um in cartersville georgia which is just north of atlanta and we had to do the gentleman's bath and this was a very old home and they did the the, the mm-hmm. husband had his um bathroom and the and the wife had hers bathroom which is such a great idea yep and um one was on the left side of the bedroom one was on the right side of the bedroom so it had these very flat doors going into a cedar going closet. into like a closet and it was like god you know we can't really afford to you know swap out these doors so here we bring mitch in and he does this incredible molding if you i don't know i guess if you could google uh cartersville magnolia show house you can see and we wrote a blog on it and it showed you know all the different things that he did it was he took black do- i mean they were white white or no they were red they were reddish they, they were, were red and they were like plywood flat i i mean and they should have just been ripped out but really we didn't have the money looking. and he t- we gave him a picture and he he made circles you know with the molding bent with the wood molding in the middle and then arched the top and the bottom and then we went on to was it etsy or ebay and bought vintage uh, hardware yes. and yes. then painted the doors a light gray it, oh yeah. my gosh! I mean, for even if you—they look like they were yeah. three thousand bucks. Even if you have, you know, s- some homes do have flat doors. I mean, if you're buying an older home or something, and mm-hmm. you don't, doors are kind of expensive to mm-hmm. replace. Um, to go ahead and add that molding to them, what a great, what a great way to do it without having to, you know, totally replace all the doors. So yeah, yeah. So, but it's taken us a long time to find these people and to build these relationships. But I would say that it's. It's just a huge part of, of what we do. And it, and it's not cheap, but wow, it makes our designs mm-hmm. and our clients so happy. You know, I'm so excited that wallpaper is totally back in. Oh, I, know, yes. I know some people still say it's wallpaper in, very, very much so. And I feel bad for the wallpaper hangers because there was a good 10 years that they weren't doing anything. Yeah. But it's totally back in. And wallpaper is another one of those can be very tricky. You have to measure a certain way. Um, you have to quote it, you know, thoroughly because if you are short and have a different dial out that could mess things up um they have to work in tight spaces get behind toilets um scaffolding for ceilings um sometimes working with very difficult you know papers they have to make make it happen same thing we're sending these people into our clients homes and they need to be able to not only be you know professional and good at what they do but be able to you know go go with the punches if things aren't you know going 100 percent right every time yeah so in the same thing with our painters same thing with our with everybody else we have had the same painter for 18 years when we call for our clients they get the best service because of the partnership and the respect that we have built with our with our paint guys and if, and you're, if you're in atlanta it's verge painting and siding oh, virgin, associates, yep. virgin associates can't say enough good about them they are really really amazing yeah they have big crews which is nice if you're having a, a get first, in get out yeah have a first floor of your home it's not one guy that's going to be there for two weeks there's a, a team and they're neat and they're clean and they're fast um and every time we refer them there always, always people are saying oh thank you for you know we love them and they've used them over and over again so yeah they use quality paint that's a big deal mm-hmm. using quality paint oh my gosh mm-hmm. so the last portion of our of our um team and because we're running out of time already is our kitchen and bathroom modelers so when the recession hit atlanta and the world in 2008 um 
we were still super busy, believe it or not. People couldn't sell their homes or build new homes because the market was basically in the toilet here in Atlanta, but they still had money. So a lot of people be- started remodeling. And so we start. We found ourselves doing a ton of kitchen and bath remodels, and we were on the hunt for really the best contractors. Yes, because there are very many, and one told us very specifically that he just likes to do vanilla. Oh, he was very clear about that. Yeah, he just wanted to do the basic stuff. He didn't want to okay, do anything well, out of the box. We're like, Have okay, a great day. Well, we, well, we can't we won't work be with working you. We can't work with you because we are not vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> so, but there's, this is where we have to find contractors and team members that we fit together with. So one of the big things for us is we want to make a profit when we do kitchen and bathroom models, but we're very respectful of our contractors too. And and they have to make a profit too. So that's a song and you know that's a dance we do between what flows through what company, but we have to be really respectful of that. And that's where the good partnership is. There's things that they don't know uh, that we do and things that they know that we don't. And so it's a great partnership to be able to take each of our strengths and you know come up with something together uh, that we're both comfortable with and, and turns out to be a great um, end product for a client. And this has been a little bit tough because a lot of the really good remodelers that are kind of more like us, they only do super big jobs. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes we just have kind of a kitchen redo or maybe two small powder bath remodels. And so in this arena, we usually have two to three contractors that we work with because the big guys, you know, they don't want to do the little stuff. And that's been tough to find. Yeah. You know, especially when things went, you know, back in back when things worked so well, you could find these guys all the time. Now it's getting harder and harder. Um, because they're, you know, they're three and four projects out. Yeah. So there you go. The behind the scenes of all that we have to, all the Mm -hmm. relationships we Mm -hmm. have to make, make it happen and make these jobs come true for our clients. It's, it's quite a haul. Yeah. So before we go on to our funny quotes, you want to talk about our contest real quick? Yes. Okay. So we are doing um, kind of a fun thing. We're giving away a one room e-design or an online design if you're not familiar what that is it is where we will take a room although no kitchens or baths because those are a little tricky Mm -hmm. but we will select somebody who has sent in and signed up for our podcast and 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 you can see it's on all of our social channels it's on instagram and we've sent out a newsletter about it. it's on facebook but what's going to happen is we're going to select somebody who will get a free basically it will be a space plan items for them to purchase that we have selected for these spaces, basically like a shopping list. And you will get that for free. So basically, we're designing an entire space. Look at our social media and you'll see you'll see all the details. But basically, we're designing a whole space for you. And we're giving it to you virtually with all retail manufacturers and you can go and do it at your speed and it's it's fun we do it here it's our design for a day program but a lot of our clients have said oh i wish you know you live near us or i wish i could take advantage of that and this is a way that you can so yeah so anywhere in the united states enter our contest all you have to do is subscribe to to our podcast write a review and follow us on instagram and that's it it's pretty easy and if you want to you can go on to email us at podcast at kendrick-cole and tell us what room you'd like to have done and why yeah, let us know you enter you? just yeah. in case so yeah. we know you're there. If you're already following and, and have reviewed, then you have to let hey, us know yeah, some then you're other a way. a couple steps ahead. Yeah, I think it's going to be really cool. So good luck. All right. So our two quotes. I'm going to do the serious one. Okay. You do the funny one. Okay. The funny one is, I just <laughs> saw some idiot at the gym put a water bottle in the Pringles holder of the treadmill. <laughs> Our friend Joan will like that because she's always talking about the guy that's at the gym that's always grunting. grunting. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Okay, so here's the serious quote. And this comes from Mel Robbins, who was the most recent guest on one of my favorite podcasts, The Skimmed from the Couch. I loved the episode so much. I'm going to go listen to it again because it was so amazing. So here's her quote. You aren't battling your ability to stick to a diet, execute a business plan, repair a broken marriage, and rebuild your life, hit your goals, or win over a bad manager. You're battling your feelings about doing it. You are more than capable of doing the work to change anything for the better, despite how you feel. Feelings are merely suggestions, ones you can ignore. To change, you must do the same. You must ignore how you feel and just do it anyway. 
That is so true. There's so many things that hold us back because of fear. And then you have to sit here and say, God, you can look back and go, I really wasted time being fearful of that. Just do it. Just do it. And her, she's got a book called The Five Second Rule. And I'm telling you, I've never listened to somebody so dynamic. So Mel Robbins, you got to look her up. Anyway. So that's it. Wow, that went fast. Wow. Yes. Can't in, can't stress the importance of building a team. Yeah, so important. All right, guys. Well, stay cool this very hot summer we're having. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening, everybody. Bye. Bye. Join Joanne and Kelly weekly for a lively conversation about trends, travels to industry events, current design projects, the good, the bad, and the ugly, do's and don'ts, product recommendations, and more. Be sure to follow the fun on Facebook. They're on Instagram, at Candrac Cole. And of course, you've got to visit them online at candrac-cole.com for more information.